what most Christians fail to see in President Trump. That's what I'm getting at right here. What most Christians fail to see in President Trump. Because, you know, it's been a stone trip ever since this man was running for office. And then he, you know, I mean, he just shocked the whole world. You know how Muhammad Ali shook up the world? Donald Trump shook up the world, boy. He shook up all the Democrats and all the liberals, and I'm telling you, and won the presidency, man. And and within in these two years, I mean, he's got the GDP up what 4.5 percent or whatever it is now. He's got unemployment at his unemployment at his lowest in like 50 years. Black unemployment at his lowest ever. I mean, this man has done some bang up things. He stopped all these companies from going overseas and uh, and now putting tariffs on the ones that do want to send their, their business overseas. Now we got all the employment right here in the United States. He's done a great job business wise. I like his business antics and business ethics and so forth. Anyway, again, what Christians fail to see, because I, I read the Republican platform, I read the Democratic plat platform prior to the elections. I just want to see what they both stood for because, you know, I'm going to go with who. I believe lines up most with the word of God. That's where my convictions are. You do whatever you want. My convictions are who lines up most with the word of God because uh, it's the righteous man, the righteous that exalts the nation. Righteousness exalts the nation. All right. And so again, Donald Trump and the Republican platform, they were against abortion. The Democrats are for abortion, man. Abortion ain't of God. That's evil. That's straight up devil. And we find that the... Uh, Planned Parenthood and that thing come out of Margaret Sanger, man. Them folks, they killing babies and selling body parts. And you look up the history of Margaret Sanger, pull her up, and they pull up Planned Parenthood, man. They 323 some thousand kids being murdered, babies being murdered every year. That, that's totaled out something like every 98 seconds, I believe, of babies being murdered through Planned Parenthood. And Donald Trump want to defund that. He already defunded the overseas abortion. They thought a blessing. That's being on God's side. But in the embassy over in Jerusalem, over in the capital, man, that's a God thing right there. Christians fail to see that. That's a God thing because Scripture tells us, man, Genesis chapter 12, God said, I'll oh, bless those that bless you. Speaking to Abraham and also concerning Israel, we're supposed to bless Israel. And we don't want to come against Israel. Zechariah said in the last days, all nations will come against Israel. And Israel has been over there all these years, man. Three, four thousand years, just a sliver of land, wars all around them, always being at war, but nobody could take them out because God made a promise to Abraham and we need to stay allied with, with Israel. And, you know, the former presidency administration, they were against Israel. They were siding up with Iran, the enemy. You don't do that, man. So anyway, this is what Christians fail to see, these simple things about what Donald Trump is doing. That man is, you might call him a heathen or whatever you want. You know, God will use a heathen. You know, but God will use anybody if Christians get behind Christians get behind the word and pray. And God will make things happen for his sake, for his righteousness sake. And it's been a beautiful thing. So a lot of great things have taken place. That's why he's getting these conservatives on the uh, Supreme Court. So we can go ahead and do away with Roe v. Wade. And I know that's why they made that big old uproar about Brett Kavanaugh becoming a justice because they didn't want another one on there because they, you know, they're going to have to they're going to have to do away with Roe v. Wade. And so anyway, man, that's what many Christians fail to see. Christians need to look at what is God doing behind these, these politicians. And don't just look at them by race or just because they're popular and things of that. So, well, we've been in shambles of Hillary Clinton had become the president. You just don't know. Man, things are better in the United States right now than they've been in like 50, 60, 70 years, man, under Donald Trump. Ain't that a trip? <laughs> yes, it is. Anyway, hallelujah. Don't be writing no crazy stuff back to me. I'm just letting you know what Christians fail to see about Donald Trump. And it's a host of other things also, but I don't have time to get into it. Anyway, click subscribe to this BFABP. That's for believers from a biblical perspective. Go to my site, anthonyblackmanministries.com, and see the site. I got entire sermons on my, my Facebook site on there as well. You can just hear it, peruse it, listen to it. It'll bless your socks off. I pray for all my subscribers. I love you. I care for you. Have yourself the best day of your life. In Jesus' name.